400 companies from the additive manufacturing industry, also known as the A. M industry gathered at an event in Detroit, Michigan this past May. They met to exhibit the latest technological advances in 3D printing. The annual event hosted by Rapid Plus TCT showcases the who's who in the 3D printing world. It's North America's largest and most influential additive manufacturing event with over 9,000 attendees. At this year's event, the 3D printing community was abuzz with a new additive manufacturing initiative launched to help build U.S. domestic supply chain resilience using 3D printing technology while reducing its reliance on international suppliers. The initiative called AM Forward is a voluntary program designed to help small to medium enterprises, or SMEs, increase their 3D printing adoption. Launched by the White House this past year, the initial participants in AM Forward were five large manufacturers. Uh, they are GE Aviation, Honeywell, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and Siemens Energy. And just last week, Boeing and Northrop Grumman joined the group. So these manufacturers have committed to actually purchasing additive produce or 3D printed parts from smaller U.S. suppliers, as well as training supplier workers on new 3D printing tech. At the Rapid Plus TCT event, leaders in the 3D printing market voiced overwhelming support for AM Forward, Check out what they had to say. I fully supported general manager at Elam Additive Xerox. It's going to be huge, president of GIAL USA. It is long overdue, head of business development at Fast Radius. The initiative will create a nationwide network of qualified additive manufacturing suppliers, director of operations, military programs, a GE additive. We're ready to partner with the government, partner with these small businesses and provide them the skills, the training and systems to take full advantage of it. Director of Product Management at Mork Forge. So this is indeed exciting. Hi, I'm Amber Lancaster. Thank you for joining me on this week's Megatrend Thursday. Uh, here at Winning Investor Daily, we're all in all in on the future of 3D printing across several of our services. Uh, right now, we have about, I say a half dozen hand-picked 3D printing stocks ready to take off as soon as this technology's full adoption takes hold. Uh, we know that the share price, we know that the share price in these 3D printing stocks have been really, really beaten down over the past year, but it's not the time to lose hope in this industry. As my colleague Ian King shared on our Market Insights video this past Monday, right here on this YouTube channel, a shameless plug, uh, please uh, like and subscribe and click the bell uh, to receive alerts when we do post these webinars. Uh, we'd be so happy if you do that. Um, he said, quote, big money is not made in bull markets, but in bear markets. You see, Winning Investor Nation is all about the timing. Buy low, buy slow. Uh, 3D printing's reach and capabilities are just getting started as large manufacturers work with additive manufacturer SMEs to reshore and build new era manufacturing here, right here in the US. A statistics forecast data shows that global 3D printing market size is set to double by 2026 from 17.4 billion in 2022 to 37.2 billion in 2026. And from automotive to healthcare, healthcare to industrial manufacturing, innovations in 3D printing are industry changing. And I can tell you, one stock that we currently hold in the model portfolio that we recommend is 3D Systems Corp. The ticker is DDD. Now, based in Rock Hill, South Carolina, 3D Systems' latest financial results for the second quarter of 2022 showed continued strength in the industrial segment of their business while increasing demand from the healthcare market. Uh, the company's revenues got a nice boost from their healthcare end market segment, all thanks to strong demand and 3D printed dental as well as medical parts. 
Now, 3D systems stands to thrive over the long term as 3D printing goes mainstream. A one equity research firm notes that 3D systems customers are shifting from prototyping to end use production. This has the potential to be a significant windfall for the company. End use products is where the money has the potential to be made exponentially. And most importantly, 3D Systems has a strong balance sheet with a good amount of cash. It has some liquid position there and less debt obligations. As of June 30th, 2022, 3D Systems had cash and equivalents and also some short-term investments uh, totaling around $638.2 million and a total debt of $447.5 million. If you like to take part in the growing 3D printing market as a whole, uh, well, you can also consider buying shares in the 3D printing ETF, a uh, ticker PRNT. Uh, this exchange traded fund gives investors access to around 68 companies that are part of the 3D printing market. PRNT trades on the Chicago Board Options Exchange CBOE. A CBOE is currently one of the largest U.S. equity uh, market operators on any given day. They operate four U.S. equity exchanges, which include the BZX Exchange, also known as BATS or BATS. And if you like to gain access to current and potentially future 3D printing stocks recommended by Ian and his Strategic Fortunes Monthly Research Service, uh, please click the bull icon right here above my shoulder to join. Just know that 3D printing is an industry that we've been watching for some time, yes, a while. And initiatives like AM Forward, pairing large manufacturers with small to medium sized uh, suppliers and enterprises has the potential to be a mega win-win collaboration. So to restate what the president of GL USA said on this initiative, quote, it's going to be huge. So remember, remember that. And remember that you can follow Ian and me on Twitter. Ian is at Invest with Ian and I am at A Lancaster Guru. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. We appreciate you so much. And until next time, please take care.